I think for me, you know, I had a good nucleus of family members. Uh, I also had people who went above and beyond, you know, like the board of academic, uh, just one member uh, actually, but she went above and beyond. I was not expecting that, you know. After the meeting, she took me, you know, to the side and, you know, said, let me help you. And things like that, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, that, that kind of puts you through in college, okay, or, or going through tough times with these tests. I mean, it's, it's all a game. You just have to be able to play the game correctly. Um, so there's, um, I wanted to talk to, say some things about keys to success for African-American males. I'm just going to throw out some stats here that might be a little staggering. Um, so less than half of African-American males graduate from high school in the United States of America, so 47%. Of that, only 4% go to college. And of that 4% that goes to college, only 36% of that total number graduate. Um, now, <clears throat> and um, so only 4% of students, African-American students, go to college. 55% uh, of athletic, um, like football, basketball, athletic teams, major revenue, uh, money-making um, colleges, you know, this is 55% of those athletes are represented as African-American but only 4% uh, from the total number of college students. Um, you know that 55%, uh, I believe only about 30% of those actually graduate from, and these are, these are like major D1 schools, like, NC, like uh, University of Oklahoma, OSU, things like that. Um, so we all know some of the disparities that prevents African Americans um, from graduating. Uh, African American males, we know about low socioeconomic status, we know about broken homes, we know about um, low income status, um, and things like that. Um, but what I wanted, there was an article that questioned, that basically wanted to, that I looked at, that wanted to figure out, you know, why, why is this, or, or not necessarily why is this the cause, but what can we do to make things better, you know, how can we improve these stats? Um, and a lot of what we're doing here with the honors program, with the gear up, with the high schools, uh, students, uh, these are things that, that are moving us towards uh, this, uh, towards the direction of improving those numbers. But they had some, the ARC had some keys to success, uh, which I believe is evident in my life um, and, and, you know, will be helpful uh, for uh, African American students in college now and here in the future, is that, uh, you know, the keys to success is family, you know, having good support. Uh, that going to college is non-negotiable. Now, I'm not saying college isn't for everybody. It's not. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> having that as an option, and if you're really going to go to college, you know, it's, it's non-negotiable. You're going to go and you're going um, to attain uh, success in your grades and success in your career. Um, having an influential teacher, and it doesn't have to be a teacher. It could be family, friend, or just somebody that you met, like in the hallway. Somebody who's going to take the time out uh, that's going to help you and, and be your support. Um, you know, and for me, uh, that was uh, <clears throat> Dr. Darnell Blackman. I'm not sure if you know him, but, um, you know, when I was in college applying for the MCAT, I mean, I asked him a ton of questions. He's the orthopedic surgeon here, uh, African-American guy. And he came from east side of Oakland. He didn't graduate high school. He ended up getting his GED. He ended up becoming a surgical technician. And somebody told him that he has the, the tools he needs to, you know, that he can uh, has the tools to make it as an orthopedic surgeon, okay? Um, so I went to him with a ton of questions and letters of recommendation. Um, and a lot of times, uh, you know, most black males, uh, <clears throat> they ask the question, um, you know, what to, so, to, about 219 black male students, you know, what, what is the determining factor of going to college? And the majority of them said serendipity is, you know, the determining factor of them going to college, not necessarily aptitude, basically making a fortunate discovery. So um, basically what that means is, is that, uh, you know, I guess an example would be in high school, you know, if you have all your ducks in a row, uh, you know, just an example, for me, for instance, football is, is a good, is a gateway, or any sport is a gateway to go to college. Having a 3.2 GPA and also having an ACT, um, you know, 18 is middle, I don't know what it is now. Um, but you know, those are things that will allow you success um, to actually get into college, okay? Um, 
making an unfortunate discovery, you know, that the college is actually looking at you um, in, uh, for scholarship money. Uh, preparation, kindergarten through 12th grade, um, you know, we have to have some adequate teachers in order to prepare the students for, the, for college. Uh, that's pretty important. Um, and uh, one of the things that they mentioned is that if uh, there is a school, a specific school or um, public school system that uh, is not putting out as many students, maybe what we need to do is do some remediation for the teachers themselves, um, uh, you know, to, <coughs> to um, or place, uh, you know, better teachers uh, in those institutions um, in high schools. Uh, equipping families with college knowledge, um, things like Gear Up would be a good example um, of uh, obtaining the knowledge of going to college, of the different uh, programs that are available. Um, building summer bridges uh, to student success. So bridging high school students to college. An example would be um, uh, the PACT. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the PACT, but basically in that program, those three brothers uh, got a um, applied to the pre-dental pre-med plus program which is uh, was at their high